Good afternoon. It's Monday, April 10th, and I'm doing a drive from my house here in Northeast Minneapolis to my parents' house in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. So it's about a 20 minute trip here. We're taking a, a different way here to start because the usual way I go right outside my neighborhood and it, just so happens to be an area where we disengage almost every time due to bad lane selection. I think that's caused by bad map data is my, my current running theory. Uh, that area is going to be torn up actually starting later this week. So I want to kind of continue to get a baseline of this route here, which takes us on 35th Avenue and will put us on to Central Avenue. So it actually adds, it's about the same number of turns really, uh, maybe adds a right turn or so, maybe two right turns, um, more than what we would have on the other route. Um, but also requires us to do a left turn here once we get down to Central on the 37th. So, otherwise it's going to be pretty much the same route once we get out of Northeast Minneapolis here into Columbia Heights, and then it will be the same from there on out. So, um, don't expect really any issues through this drive here. Honestly, I've had some really good drives the last three days with 1136. It's been honestly pretty good. Um, had a couple weird one-offs with it that I haven't, well, I wasn't able to actually repeat. Um, roundabout behavior looks to kind of be a step backward from what I can tell so far, but if car is approaching fast from our left here, and it is partially occluded due to the hill and traffic light here. So we are clear now. Let's see if the car goes. We do have room. The car does a great job of going there. It's awesome. So I'm going to kill the nav here and press the accelerator just to keep it going here since I had it set to a waypoint, and I should probably set it to a further one down the way there, but um, I'm just gonna queue it up to my mom and dad's house here now, and it should take a left turn up here now. Good job getting over there, right after the train tracks, no issues there. And now we're gonna go and make a left-hand turn Sorry about that. Um, my GoPro just cut out there for whatever reason. Loves to just die randomly. Um, did a great job of navigating at speed around that car there. We didn't hit the brakes at all, which was good. All right, we're gonna have a short gap here. Let's see if the car goes. And wow, good job being properly assertive there. I've had some really good assertive behavior on my drives so far today with FSD Beta 1136 and it's gotten a lot closer to what I liked about 11.3.1. Like I said, the roundabout behavior maybe is a step backwards from 11.3.1, but, you know, honestly, this release is, is pretty good so far. I know some people have said they've noticed regressions in certain areas, but I haven't really noticed any of those issues. Um, I've had a couple outliers where I didn't like the behavior, but when I went and retested those areas, the car did a great job, so... And as soon as that mile per hour hits zero and it pauses for a brief second, it goes. So I would say it's much more noticeable with 11.3.6. It doesn't seem to wait as long. It could just be overanalyzing it and missing it, but to me it seems like it does go a little faster at four-way stops than it did, even if it's for like a split second faster. So I uh, would have to time it with a clock to confirm, but I've noticed that now going down this stretch a few times. And this is my second time actually going on this street so far today. And it still hesitates way too much here. So I'm gonna press the throttle here since we're, nobody's behind us, just an area where I'm gonna to continue to report that. So I'd love to know again what the car sees if it's, it's again, it's a very weird intersection, but it's one where you usually have good visibility from where we're at, but the car doesn't seem to think so. So I'd love to know what includes it and what's, what makes it basically, it has to creep halfway into the intersection before it can decide to go, even though it's a four-way stop, which is super weird. A little jumpy behavior here with uh, FSD. We're kind of like in the crosswalk now. So we're still short. Um, you can see how we're kind of posed here. We're kind of at like a 45 degree angle relative to the, to the right lane there. And that's, I'm sure, to give the pillar camera a good view of traffic that's approaching from our left here. All right, we should have a window opening up here after this black car here. All right, we should be ready to go right now. 
And great job there. A little jerky after we made the right turn. Not sure why I needed to do that, but overall, the pose was great. I think we probably could have done that a few inches back. We didn't have to be so far, far into the crosswalk there, but um, honestly, that was good behavior. Um, the only thing I'd say I'd scrutinize is just maybe the, you know, creep behavior as we were going. It almost looked like we were going to go in front of that first car there, which that person didn't seem startled, but I could see how that behavior could startle somebody. So, you know, maybe not be so jerky on the creep behavior. We could make that a little smoother. But overall, the car did the right thing, didn't go in front of another car, waited till it was clear to go, and, and it posed the way it needed to so the pillar cameras could get a good view of the... Uh, approaching traffic from the left back there. So. Alright, so that was not a smart move by that person up there that just jammed in front of uh, us here on this lane and could have surprised the people behind us. It wasn't, we did everything we needed to do from a yielding perspective, but that was just not a good maneuver there. So, just so one of the many examples of kind of what behavior FSD has to deal with due to bad human drivers, and there's definitely no shortage of them. So, yeah, it's just always frustrating when you see people drive like that and just aggressive for no reason. And they just seem to miss their turn. They could have literally turned that way and they would have been just fine. They would have ended up in the same spot. So, completely unnecessary, but that's human pilot for you. <laughs> Definitely needs a code upgrade. All right, so we're just exiting Highway 10 um, West here and getting on to uh, Main Street. So you see the car still, that behavior that we saw in 1133 is still there where the car, for whatever reason, wants to pick the right lane there, even though we're turning left. So we actually need to get over another lane here. So really goofy behavior there. It's just, it knows it needs to go right and it's almost like it completely ignores the nav, which is really bizarre. And the car does the right thing there, but I'm going to report that again because that initial lane placement can really put us in a bad spot if there's more cars around. We need to be confident. It's version 11, it's the first time I've seen that. I didn't see that in any of my drives at 11, 3.1, 3.2. It was really until 3.3 is when I started noticing that behavior, and I confirmed that that was definitely an area of, re of regression there. So fortunately, that lane selection regression is still there. So... But nice recovery nonetheless from FSD. It does a great job getting back over and making two lane changes before that intersection and then making a nice left turn on the main street. So, you know, no harm, no foul, but definitely with more traffic that would cause problems for us.
Great job with those left turns back there. No issues that I can see. Then we got one more right turn here, and then we are on to our final street and our destination. Nice job, nicely decelerating there, uh, making that right turn. Very predictable behavior, and honestly, a really good drive. So, yet another zero disengagement drive for 1136. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.